Certainly no weather like that here in our area. Only bright sunshine this noontime. Let's head over to meteorologist Stephen Matragrano now, who uh, has a look at our noontime forecast. Yeah, Erica, we're looking at quiet conditions for today. Lots of sunshine, lower humidity, and lower mugginess, of course, after those showers and storms made their way through last night. So again, dry weather for today. Good beach weather as well. Let's take a look outside. This is first New Bedford. Clouds and sunshine. Again, it's a quiet weather day. Not much going on. Looks pretty calm here down in New Bedford. One more check outside. This is up in Lincoln. You can see these clouds here building and there's some blue sky mixed in too. And of course, we'll see some sunshine from time to time. Radar check. Things are quiet here again. Not looking at any rainfall for today. It's going to be a dry day and a warm day too. Temperatures right now in the upper 60s for the most part across the region. Even lower 70s up in Taunton. Most of us will reach the 70s, mid to upper 70s though, away from the shoreline. So my threat tracker, of course, is green for today because it's quiet weather. Same deal for Friday and into the weekend, though we are going to see some showers return to the forecast as we head into Saturday. So here's the wide view, the satellite and radar. You can see again, for the most part, just seeing some clouds making their way through, but we're looking at blend of sun and clouds for the most part for today. Quiet weather locally for us, but not so much down across the southern tier of the country, across the Gulf Coast states. You can see lots of storm in across Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Now, this is all part of a bigger system that is actually going to be giving widespread severe weather for later on today and into tonight. We'll probably most likely be making national headlines later on this evening. This is that severe threat. Notice the level four of the severe index here. So again, we're quiet, but elsewhere in the country, not so fortunate for today and tonight. Taking things back to home locally, low pressure moved through last night with the cold front. That's why we have that refreshing air across our area for today. And that's going to continue at least into tonight as well with a nice westerly wind bringing in some cooler, drier air. So as we look into the hour by hour forecast for the rest of today and into tonight, not a whole lot happening across our region. Again, it's been a you know, quiet day, some clouds from time to time, but generally a mainly sunny sky for the rest of this afternoon and into the evening hours. Staying quiet, but we are tracking our next weather system that really doesn't get here until later on Friday. So notice this is Friday, uh, 8 a.m. You can see we have sunshine, not really a whole lot going on for us. But as we go forward in time, now 3 o'clock in the afternoon, notice showers and thunderstorms off to the west near New York City, parts of New Jersey. By the time it gets here, I'm thinking, you know, 7, 8 o'clock at night for a Friday evening making its way through. But even during the overnight hours, this is about, you know, after midnight going into Saturday morning, Look at the reds on the screen, some thunder, some lightning, certainly possible making its way through our region as we head into the weekend. Then the low pressure just kind of hangs around for Saturday, giving us more clouds, sprinkles, some light showers from time to time. So Saturday's forecast is looking quite unsettled, uh, but not a washout, but just looking at some shower activity across our area for Saturday. So here's that seven day forecast for you again. In terms of the Father's Day weekend, it's about a half and half weekend. Thankfully, uh, the showers are going to be uh, impacting the area on Saturday and it looks to clear out for the most part on Sunday. Temperatures though in the 70s, but look at Friday, 80 degrees. Definitely get outside and enjoy it. Great beach weather today and tomorrow. Things are looking good though for Father's Day Sunday. And as always, get the full forecast on our website at WPRI.com.